Hey guys, it's Kaler. Welcome to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up glass morphism in under two minutes in Adobe XD. Let's get started. Starting with a blank document in Adobe XD, I'm going to drag in a gradient. This effect looks best when you have something in the background so that you can add a blur to make that glass effect really pop. So once you have something in the background, maybe 3D elements or a gradient like this, go ahead and grab the rectangle tool and we'll create a rectangular glass element. First thing I'm gonna do is round the corners a bit just so we don't have those sharp edges. Then let's set the border to white and then we can adjust the fill. So there's two ways to do this. You can do this with a solid fill and lower the opacity to your desired opacity or you can go to linear gradient change both of the fill swatches to white and do it at a diagonal or really any angle you want to do it at. And then have one of them as kind of a light source. So maybe it's a little bit brighter, maybe 40% and the other one's a little bit lower, maybe around 14 or 15% or so. So that way it looks like a light's hitting the glass from the top left. And then no matter which effect you choose on the fill, we need to lower that border to make it a little less harsh. So we'll lower that opacity to find a good edge look. We'll go with 25% or so. The next thing we wanna do is add some background blur. I like to set my light value to 0%, my opacity to 100, and then I can freely adjust the amount of blur applied to this object. So I'm just gonna apply something very small, maybe 15, just a slight blur. So if I were to drag this kind of curve that this gradient has, you can see it really blurs it there. So that looks pretty nice. To take this a step further, you can even add a drop shadow to make this pop a little bit more on the background. I'm gonna add one that's quite large, 15 on the X and Y to push it to the right and down a little bit, and then add maybe 50 on the blur value to really add that drop shadow. Then we can play around with the opacity until we get our desired effect. Something really subtle like four or 5% may look good there. And then we have our glass morphism element. So glass morphism is a pretty cool trend. I like this one a lot compared to new morphism because new morphism had a lot of accessibility problems. So I think I'm going to use this one in some designs. Let me know what you guys think of it down in the comments below. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more design and Adobe XD related content. And as always have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one.